Isaiah, thank you so much for your presentation. Love the idea of the project, that it's community driven and community based, uh, as opposed to charity as a way of addressing a food desert. Can you talk a little bit about how you anticipate sharing with folks in the communities that they understand what the project is about? We will hold classes to teach them about hydroponics, even garden if they need so. We just manage it. It's there for anyone to use it. Given there are a number of uh, projects similar to this in the city, what makes your project unique? The education aspect. Many projects, they just hand out food. For us, it's more than just giving it to them and going about a day. They can learn from this. They can grow from this, even teach their friends and teach their other family members. And they, they can continue to, and not depend on us. Once we teach them, they can no longer have to depend on us. And it's more so what they do it. Hydroponic gardening. T tell us about it. Do you have a background in it? Have you done it before? Where did you get the idea? It was me and a couple other police explorers. And we were just sitting around pitching ideas. Many of us, uh, and even folks, Inside the center had, depending on things such as food stamps, we decided to go with the garden. But we took into account things such as weather conditions and stuff like that. So we decided to hide the product garden because it allows things to be grown within the area without having to worry about weather conditions, pests, or and things like that. 